Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Jayaditya Math Tutorial. We are doing a series of NCRT class 11th Mathematics. As a part of this, we are now in the chapter Sets. In the previous class, we have discussed some problems related to exercise 1.2, which are also related to the finite, infinite sets and also null set or empty set or void set. Okay, if you don't watch those videos, please do watch them. The links will be in the description. And in this class, we are going to learn about some important concepts and we'll be also discussing some examples related to that concept. So please do watch this class till the end. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you like my class, please do like and share with your friends. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Watch the video till end. And without wasting any time, let us enter into our class. Let us see some situations here. So what is the first thing? The set of prime numbers less than 6. And the second one is set of prime factors of 39. The first one is set of prime numbers less than 6. And the next one is set of prime factors of 30. Okay now. So let us try to write each of them in our roster form. Let us take the first set as A. So what is our first set now? So let this be A and this be B. Okay. In A, the set of prime numbers less than 6. So what are the prime numbers less than 6 we have here? So that is nothing but 2, 3 and 5. That's all. Clear now? So we have only 2, 3, 5. These are the 3 prime numbers less than 6. And let us go for the next one. Set of prime factors of 30. Set of prime factors of 30. I already discussed in our previous classes how to take out the prime factors. So if you prime factor is 30 here. So 30 is an even number. So you do short division with 2 and you will be remained with what here Nana? that is 15 so what is the next prime number that is 3 it 15 is divisible by 3 so you divide with 3 and you will be remained with 5 here 3 5 are 15 so you can say that 2 3 5 are the prime factors of 30 2 3 5 are the prime factors of 30 so what is our b set Nana so that is nothing but again you have the values 2 3 so what you are observing in set A and set B, though the conditions are different, but the elements of the set are equal here. Right now, the elements of the set are same here. So see here, here you have 2, here also you have 2, here you have 3, here also you have 3, here you have 5, here also you have 5. There is no extra element in A and there is no extra element in B. So you can easily say that each and every element of set A, each and every element of set A is present in set B. Right now. So each and every element. 2, 3, 5 are the elements. And these are all present in set B. And also each and every element of set B are present in set A. So elements of set B are present in set A. And elements of set A are present in set B. Okay now. Without any extra elements. Clear. So you can say that A and B are equal sets. What kind of sets are these? So these are equal sets now. Clear? So what can you say about the definition of equal sets here? That is nothing but, that is very very simple. Each and every element of a set are present in the other set. Then we can say that both the sets are equal sets. So how to represent equal sets here? So see here Nana, A is equals to B. That's all. A is equals to B or you can easily say that B is equals to A. So when you see this like this, then you can easily confirm that the elements of set A and elements of set B are same. So what will be the cardinal number of A and cardinal number of B here? What can you comment about cardinal number of A and cardinal number of B? How do you represent cardinal number? In our previous class, we have discussed. So that is nothing but N of A and here cardinal number of B you will be representing with N of B. If the elements are same, therefore the number of elements also will be the same. Therefore, you can easily say that cardinal numbers are also same for the both the sets. Now. So this is about the what? Now, now? This is about equal sets. So what can you say about equal sets? If each and every element of a set are present in the other set, therefore both the sets are known as equal sets sets now so your order is not much important so you can have the elements like this also three two five if you have the elements like this three two five both are same again 
so i already told you whenever you are writing the sets in a roster form the order is immaterial so please do watch the first class where we have discussed okay first class or when we are discussing about roster form there i have stressed this point there so please do watch that class if you don't watch that class please do watch it the links will be in the description okay now so order is not important here clear so let us see some more examples related to equal sets let's see some examples here and let us check which of the following are like equal sets and which are not here so we shall compare each and everything here so what is the first one in set a we have the elements 1 2 3 4 and in set b we have the elements 3 4 1 2 and in set c you have 3 4 5 1 you have 3 4 5 1 and in set d you will be having 1 2 3 and set C, let us take this as set E. And set E, you are having 2, 2, 1, 3, 3. Nana. 2, 2, 1, 3, 3. Okay. So, this point is very, very important. Nana. So, do focus here. So, let us see the first one. In set A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And in set B, also you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Right now. So, each and every element in set A is present in set B. Clear? So, what can you say about A and B? So, A is equal to B now. Why? Because the elements are same here. So, each and every element of set A is present in each and every set B here. Therefore, you can say that A is equal to B. And let us go for C here and let us compare it with A. So, what are the elements you have in A here? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now 1, 2, 3, 4. And in C, 1, 3, 4 you have, you don't have 2 here and also you have an extra element 5. So see here, you have 5 here but you don't have 5 in set A and in set A you have 2 but you don't have 2 in set C. So what is the definition of an equal set? Each and every element must be present in both the sets, right? Nana? So the elements of both the sets must be equal. The order may be immaterial. So see here, here the order is changed, but the elements are same. Therefore, we have described, discussed, described it as equal sets. A is equal to B. But here, all the elements are not equal. Therefore, you can say that A is not equal to C. So, the sets which do not have same elements, we call them as unequal sets. What do we call them, Nana? Unequal sets. Okay. Leave this concept up to here. And let us see the remaining two sets. What is D here? That is 1, 2, 3. Clear. And E, if you observe E, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3. Here, you should have one doubt. Right? Actually, the elements must not be repeated, right? But here we have repeated. So, what is the condition here? So, let us learn it carefully. Even though you have repeated an element, it is taken as only once. Okay, Nana. So, if you rewrite this set, the set will be like 2, 1, 3. That's all. So here 3 is repeated but we will be taking only once. Here 2 is repeated but we will be taking only once now. So again you compare with D now. So in D you have 1, 2, 3 and even in set E you have 1, 2, 3. So what can you say about D and E here? D and E are equal sets. D and E are equal sets here. So, my question is, what is the cardinal number of E? What is the cardinal number of E? How many elements you have in the set E? That is my question. Please do comment your answer in the comment section. Okay, Nana. So, I hope you have understood this concept very well. If you understand this concept very well, then you will surely give the correct answer here, Nana. Okay. So, let us take some more examples and let us see how the equal sets will be. Okay, Nana. Right, Nana? So let us take an example here. Find the pairs of equal sets. Find the pairs of equal sets. The first one. In set A, you have one element that is zero. Don't think this is a null set. In the set, you have an element zero. So here you have one element. What do we call the set which has only one element, Nana? Yes, that is single turn set. So this is not null set. Most of the students will be confused here just by looking at zero. So they will be thinking that there are zero elements in the set. But zero is an element in the set, Nana. So be careful here. Second one is set B. The set of all X such that X greater than 15 and X less than 5, Nana. So see here, there cannot be any number 
such that it is greater than 15 and simultaneously it is less than 500 so if you have and here be careful and if you have or then that gives some other meaning now so be careful here exit greater than 15 and exit less than 5 can any number be greater than 15 and less than 5 no it cannot be right so any single number cannot be simultaneously less than 5 and greater than 15 if you take the numbers such that less than 5 for example if you take 1 1 is less than 5 but it is not greater than 15 2 2 is less than 5 but not greater than 15 if you take number greater than 15 for example you take 16 16 is greater than 15 but 16 is not less than 5 so here two conditions must be satisfied whenever you have and none so this set will be a null set okay now so this is already in the roster form you can easily represent like this so you have one element and set b in set b if you write set b in roster form what happens so this is a null set this is a null set and the next one c set of all x such that x minus 5 is equals to 0 if you simplify x minus 5 is equals to 0 what happens now x minus 5 is equals to 0 in the sense x must be equals to 5 right now so you can write c in the roster form as only you have again only one element that is 5 now and let us take d value d set the set of all such that x square is equals to 25 x square is equals to 25 how to solve this one so x square is equals to 25 and x will be equals to root over 25 most of the students will be writing just like this but you should also mention plus or minus before root whenever a square goes to rhs then it, it becomes root obviously but you should put the symbols plus and minus so you can take the values of x as plus root 25 and x as minus root 25 also clear now so what is the answer now here x will be 5 and also x will be negative 5 here x will be 5 and also x will be negative 5 so if you write this set d in the roster form what can you write now so d will be like minus 5 comma 5 d will be minus 5 comma 5 now clear and let us go for the last one let us take this as e set x such that x is an integral that means it should be an integer and it should be positive root of the equation x square minus 2x minus 15 is equals to 0 so in this set if you want the elements so what it should be nana it should be a integral positive root that means it should be positive and also it should be an integer so try to find out the roots of this quadratic equation so if you factorize this one it will be like minus 5x plus 3x minus 15 is equals to 0 and take x common from the first two terms then you'll be having x minus 5 plus 3 you take common here again you'll be having x minus 5 nana why because 3 5s are 15 so this will be equals to 0 and here you'll be left with x minus 5 you have x minus 5 in both the terms take x minus 5 common and you'll be left over with x in the first term and plus 3 in the second term which is equals to 0 and also you know here when product of two numbers is equal to 0 either of that must be 0 so if you equate x minus 5 is equals to 0 and x plus 3 is equals to 0 you'll get x value as 5 and x value as minus 3 x value as 5 and also x value as minus 3 so what will be the element in set e what will be the element in set e that is the important so you should look at the condition again so it should be positive first of all it should be positive so you cannot take x is equals to minus 3 so what can you take nana x is equals to 5 y because it is positive and also it is an integer so it should be an integer so what are the elements in the set e now set e has only one element that is 5 nana so now you compare each and everything and let us see whether which of the pairs are equal sets which of the pairs are equal sets here okay now so see here just by looking what are what where you have equal sets here just at c and e nana clear so in all the sets you are having different elements in set a you, your element is 0 in set b there are no elements in set d you have minus 5 and plus 5 see here there is a slight difference between e and d here you have two elements now here you have two elements but what is the definition of an equal set here equal set so 
two sets will be equal sets only when each and every element is present in both the sets now so all the elements must be same in both the sets so here though we have plus 5 in d but we don't have minus 5 in set c or minus 5 in set e therefore here you can say that only c and e are equal sets so you can represent like this c is equals to e that's all so what are the equal sets here only c and e and not any other so you can simply write a not equals to b like that okay a not equals to b which is not equals to c which is not equals to so like that okay now clear right let us see one more example and let us close the class for today okay let us see one more example so here we should check whether the given sets are equal sets or not so simple this one so here we have some direct conditions and some are in set builder form so try to write them in roster form then you can easily find whether the given sets are what equal sets or not so in the first case x the set of letters in alloy so how to write this one in roster form now so you should write all the letters right now you should write all the letters so that is a l so we have two times l you should not repeat why because even if you repeat also you will be taking it as only one element so that's why we will not repeat actually okay now so the next one is o and the last one is y and the next one so b the set of letters in loyal the set of letters in the word loyal so here also you write the roster form here so how you will be writing set of letters in the word loyal what is our first one that is l and second one is o and third one is y and the next one is a and here we have l already we have written once so there is again no need to write clear now so we have written both the sets in roster form now let us check whether the elements are same or not so see here here you have l here also you have l here you have o here you have o here y here y here a and here a there is no element left in any of the sets so each and every element of a set is present in the second set and also vice versa vice versa in the sense for suppose each and element of set x is present in set b and also each of element of set b is present in set x therefore we can say that both the sets are equal sets so what you'll be writing here a sorry x is equals to b x is equals to b so the first set is denoted with x that's why we are taking it as x and second set is b therefore x is equals to b now so let us go for the next one a n is such that n belongs to z what do you mean by z here z is nothing but integers and n square is less than or equals to 4 in our previous class we have discussed this one n square less than or equals to 4 if you don't watch my previous videos please do watch them so if you write this one in roster form the answers you, the elements you'll be having is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 now minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so you can take any value in place of n then this condition will be satisfied if you take minus 2 minus 2 whole square is nothing but 4 4 is equals to 4 if you take minus 1 minus 1 whole square is 1 1 is less than or equals to less than 4 0 0 is less than 4 1 1 square is 1 1 less than 4 if you take 2 2 square is equal to 4 so less than or equal is the condition therefore if you take all the five values in place of n it will be satisfied let us go for the next one so x is such that x belongs to r r in the sense it is nothing but real numbers and x square minus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0 that means x should be the solution of this one right now this quadratic equation x should be a root of this quadratic equation so if you factorize as we have discussed in our previous case you will be having the values as uh, values of x as 1 comma 2 nana so if you want you can substitute and check there if you substitute 1 the value will be 0 and if, even if you substitute 2 again the value will be 0 so now you see them so though you have 1 1 here 2 2 here but we have some extra values here in set a nana minus 2 minus 1 and 0 so what is our definition of equal sets so each and every element of a set must contain in the other set so see here here we don't have minus 2 we don't have minus 1 we don't have 0 right now therefore these two are not equal sets so what can you write here a is not equals to b in the first case both are equal sets but in the second case it is not none clear so let me give you a question and give the answer in the comment section just to change only one thing here Nana. just to change here as n and take this question as the third example 
and give the answer in the comment section whether A and B are equal sets or not. Okay now, so give the answer in the comment section. I hope you have understood this class very well. If you have any doubts, you do comment in the comment section. If you like my class, please do like it and share with your friends. Please increase subscribers. If, if I have more subscribers, then I can do live classes also. So please do share with your friends. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and ask every one of your relatives and friends to subscribe to the channel. Okay. And in our coming class, we'll be solving some exercise problems related to equal sets. And also let us try to reveal the answer for the question what I have asked here. Okay, so don't miss that class. Whenever you are watching a video, please do watch it till then. Let us meet in our next class. Till then, bye.